Hello everybody and a good day to you all today. I am talking about Fire Force Season number 2, episode number 20, Weapons of Destruction. In this episode here, we get to see pretty much Juggernaut step up to, no, to another level this time. Juggernaut as a character confuses me. I don't get him as a character at all. Because he's extremely powerful, yet he's scared of everything. He gets blown up half the, all the time, but it doesn't it hit him, it only hits his clothes because he wears a whole bunch of layers, but it makes no sense at all. Because you see like his, like, a, like his whole, his whole middle section gets blown out, but yet his clothes just appear underneath and he's fine. I just, how? I just, where does his body go? You see his arm get blown off, he just pulled out another one because he, he got clothes, I, I mean, that makes no sense. Wouldn't it blow all his clothes? I, like, I don't know. I understand how he works, but anyway, nothing about him makes any sense. But you see him step up in this episode right here too, using his amazing abilities to beat him, beat up a member of the white clan, and he messes her up badly. Because you have also you have to, to, um, Tamaki here also trying to step up to the plate, but she doesn't manage to hold her own without her, her clothes falling off. <laughs> it makes no sense at all. But but you see how my like, um juggernaut pretty much stepping up in here to protect her against these um, these crazy people. You also got to see um the captain of um, of, of Special Fire Force Eight and the Lieutenant meet um meet um um Tagi, I guess I guess who's the brother of Maki, I think I think her name is. I can't think of her name right now. Who he, he's her brother, and he's mad at the lieutenant because he felt as though she he he, he tricked her into joining the fire force, and even though all he did was offer her the opportunity, and she just took it. She she I I, I, I don't really can't think she can, she can decide for herself. Hopefully she hopefully she does come back to to the fire force because seeing her just as a secretary there, I feel like it's a waste in the military. It's just a waste to me. I mean, I get it. They want to protect her. He, she, he's a big brother. Well, I guess he is. He wants to protect his sister. I get it. And the father wants to protect his daughter. But the thing is, though, had the, they haven't not seen what she's capable of doing. She actually knows how to hold her own. And so, seeing her get pushed aside like this, and then having her brother pretty much blame my health because her sister, her the sister's decisions, like this, like this, like this, it, it, it bothers me a little bit. I don't like it. I don't like it that much. But overall, I still like to see that the, um, a, I like to see a character step up to, to the plate. And especially seeing a character who has so much potential to do so much, and they're always so scary all the time, and they actually see them that finally do step up, and says, "Okay, all right. that's one thing they have a character who doesn't like to fight, but when, when, when push comes to shove, they, they they step up when things happen, and I'm gonna when things go down, I'm gonna do like that. Because a lot of times he is like he is like he don't know what to do, and he like this dude, you have all this amazing power, just use that. You have uh, you can make missiles out of fire." And that could cause a huge amount of destruction. Use that. You got the power. Just use it. And now finally seeing him step up and face his fears and do it for the first time. And then you just, yes! Because you pumped up like this. Oh my gosh. The animation here was like amazing, especially in those scenes. Now sometimes the animation is not consistent all the way through. So sometimes it looks fantastic with and like that. Sometimes the style is like looks like they um they um they do a lot of cheap shots. And they, don't, they, don't show, they don't show a lot of faces a lot of time. They go into the faces. But when it comes to the fighting parts, the animation is like, wow, amazing. It's done, it's done quite well. And you don't, you don't see a lot of other characters in like, um, like, like Shinru and all of that. And Arthur, they're in here. But they, they're mostly in the background. They don't, they don't really do much in this episode here. But it mostly focuses on um, pretty much Juggernaut. You get more of his backstory or where he comes from. Uh, how, how he feels about things. And his view in the world. And also see him step up and see how that come, come together. With him stepping up and fighting, facing the bad guy. He was just, ah, oh, yes. Yes. I, I enjoyed that a lot. Hopefully, like, and, I, and hopefully the relationship between the, the lieutenant and um, um, to, um, the, the Kiki, I think I say his name. Hopefully, he's not sees him as a threat anymore. Somebody who already hurt his sister, and sees somebody who actually was like looking out for his sister and making sure she's like on the right path as well. But let's see, let's see where it goes. Let's see where it goes. But overall, I enjoyed the episode a whole lot. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of Fire Force. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. So give my channel a like, hit the thumbs up, shut boop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it. Also, links down below. Selling off merch. T-shirts, masks, pills, and whatnot like that. And this is one of my the shirts from, 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 my, from my line. This is my my Fire Wizard shirt right here. Uh huh. Also have have others as well. Links down below. Buy as much as you want. I really would appreciate it. Buy it for yourself. Buy it for somebody else. Hey, don't you buy something? 
I'll, I'll be happy and I really appreciate it a whole lot. It'll help me out a lot as well too. So, like I always say, in my dream day of life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.